Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey, I'm really excited about this because we're starting Decade Doubles. What are Decade Doubles, you may ask? Well, you remember what doubles are? One and one make two. Two and two make four. Three and three make six. Four and four make eight. And five and five make ten. Well, now we're just putting the basically we're just putting a zero after that. Let's say this is ten and ten make twenty. Twenty and twenty make forty. Thirty and thirty make sixty. Forty and forty make eighty. And what is this? Fifty and fifty make one hundred. All right, friends. As you're going through this computational or math fluency roadmap. You're going to start out with, you know, get some number sense and you're working up and you're doing counting by ones and, and then you start counting by tens and you start counting by doubles. And, and there's so many different things that you're going to do that you need to do before you get into these decade doubles. Decade doubles, they, they are simple. However, we want you to have a deeper understanding of where you're at with your number sense. You know, um, that one and one make two and two and two make uh, four. That will help you with this next section. Okay, let's go forward. All right, so if I say we have one, two, three, four, and I want you to make bundles of ten, what do you need to do? Like, oh my gosh, you know, um, uh, what do I do? Well, the nice thing about ten is this, is this factor is that one times ten is equal to ten. So we can go, oh, well, wait a minute. So if 1 times 10 is equal to 10, I can just put a 0 here. And then if I may have uh, two bundles of 10, you can count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, one bundle. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Second bundle, oh, wait a minute, 20. The 0 here. Again, just add zeros to that number. But you have to understand is that this represents one bundle of 10, so it's 10. This is your 10s, so it's two bundles of 10, which equals to 20, and three bundles of 10 is equal to 30, and so on with 40. Next up, if you remember your small doubles, you have one and one is equal to two. But if we now let's make it a little bit larger. Let's make it a larger number. 10 plus 10. So when you're going through, you can look at your fingers. You can do all this other stuff. Say 1 and 1 is equal to 2, but 10 and 10 is equal to 20 because you have these this 0 here in the 1's column. So we have a 10's column and a 1's column. Same thing here. 2 and 2 make 4. Or we have it to where 20 and 20, and that's that plus sign, or you know, 20 plus 20, or 20 and 20 is equal to, oh, well, wait a minute, we need to have a tens column. So if this is the tens column, then we need to have a ones column here next to it. That's 40. You see how we're, we're building off of prior knowledge to bring this into light for young learners. Let's try it again with a little bit larger numbers, so 30 and 30, or if it was originally 3 and 3 is equal to 6, again, put this down here. Now when we get a little bit larger, where we start going where, where we have pieces of this equation that make it so it goes uh, 10 or above, it starts getting uh, a little bit more complicated. So this is going to be like your large doubles. Now, I would suggest doing, uh, let's say, ones through fives for your small decade doubles of bundles of ten there, and then work up to uh, everything greater than five or greater than four, depending on how, you, how it, your student needs to get chunked up. So here we have eight and eight. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What is eight and eight? Well, that is equal to. 
16, but if I have 80 and 80, what do I do? Well, that zero here is in the one spot, so maybe we should put it over here, and that would be correct. Again, it's building on prior knowledge of large doubles, so make sure that you are comfortable with doing your large doubles at least all the way through 10. Let's take a look at this here. Um, I've uh, Number lines. So I'm starting at zero. And I want to say, hey, we're going to do uh, large doubles, and we want to start out with uh, 10 and 10. So let's say this mark here is 10. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm not going to mark it. I'm going to put it down here and say that's 10 as well. Okay, so we start out here. We're going, well, well 10 and 10. Well, I, have a, I can draw a line here and here, but wait a minute. I need to do... 1, 10, all right, 2 tens. So 10 and 10 is 20. We can continue this where we say, well, here's 20, and here's 20 as well. So we're starting out with 2 tens on each side here. So we have 2 tens here. What that means is we need to add 2 more marks to where we get to 40 here. So two tens, one, two, and two more tens is equal to one, two, one, two. So here we go, there's 40. Be creative on how you look at the problem, what you need to do when you're putting it down on paper. Have fun with this. Um, roll a dice and, and say, hey, I got six, so I need to have six bundles of 10. How do I do that? You can use uh, this method, or let's take a look at other ways to do it. What I really like about this here is we're working with uh, base 10 blocks. So we have 10 here and 10 here, and it doesn't matter if it's 10 and, or 20 or, or 30 on each side, but it's still the, the same thing to work on. So we say, well, wait a minute, what does this add up to? Well, again, we have 10 and 10. And that equals, okay, and that is going to equal it to these two tens over here. But, but wait a minute, all I did was just transfer that information over. So, and we just count it up, you know, or just say, hey, there's two tens, so I have 10 and 10. I know I have two bundles of those tens, so this is 10 here and 10 here. And I throw in that one spot because the ones are taken up by zeros. Work on it. Go through, as you, again, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so when you get to 50s, that's when you start getting into these 100 block as the uh, answer. And at that point, when you get into 60s and 70s and 80s and, and such like that, uh, you may want to um, make sure that you have a good understanding, a deep understanding on, on this process here, because if you look at this, this is 10 bundles of 10, because I have 10 down and 10 across, and that is equal to 100. Again, don't get worried about these zeros, all these zeros, because if you look at it, you go, well, wait a minute, I have 10 bundles of 10, and, and uh, 10 bundles of 10, so if two bundles of 10 is equal to 20, maybe that is going to be 20 bundles of 10, and that covers this 10 and this 10, and then I add on that zero to get the answer. Takes a little bit of more um, of a thought process to analyze and then transfer this knowledge up here where I have the two bundles of 10 is equal to 20 to down here where I have two bundles of 100. And that's it for the decade doubles. I want to start taking you a little bit slower, give you some more time to uh, work on your, your number sense and, and have a deeper understanding. That, that's the goal for this whole project, this whole math fluency video series, is that you formulate a deeper understanding of your basic number sense so that you can do more advanced mathematics. Take care.
Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Remember, math fluency replaces math anxiety. Like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. Next up is combining double-digit doubles.